right now the president is saying that Bob Mueller should not testify. Uh, can the president uh, do that and prevent him from testifying? Former Justice official John Yu on that. John, what do you think? Can he? It's a very complicated question and really tests the waters. Uh, this constitutional conflict that is coming between Congress and the president that the courts really have never resolved. So if Mueller stays as a Justice Department official, then the president could just order him not to testify on the basis that the Justice Department has always tried to protect prosecutors and their decisions from excessive scrutiny. They don't want those decisions out in public. But, you know, we've already crossed that line. The Mueller report already has all the evidence described. You already see the prosecutorial mind at work. And so a lot of the things that the Justice Department usually tries to protect by keeping things confidential are already out there. So the main grounds for preventing someone like Mueller from testifying have really evaporated. All right. Democrats seize on this, say, well, there's a lot that was inferred on the part of Mueller that we want to get to the bottom. Why didn't he make more of an obstruction case against the president? Why did he kind of leave it as a jump ball for us? That's their take. What, what do you say? Well, on the other side is that Barr and the president could say, look, Mueller has nothing to add. He wrote it all out in the report. Uh, we don't want Congress trying to peer inside the minds of prosecutors. It'll create a bad incentive for future prosecutors who are always going to be worried then about people looking over their shoulders instead of making the right uh, call about <clears throat> doing the just thing. The other thing I should have added is presidents have always tried to claim a kind of privilege to protect the internal deliberations of the executive branch, uh, to try to preserve the ability to have robust and candid decision making. They would worry that if the public and Congress are always second guessing their decisions. People aren't going to speak up. People aren't going to uh, say what's on their minds and you'll have worse decisions as a result. So in the end, in the bottom line, I think Mueller, though, could just quit. This is the hard thing. What if Mueller quits? He's no longer an employee of the Justice Department. Then the president doesn't have as much ability to prevent Mueller from voluntarily testifying as a private citizen. So what do you think of the odds of that? I think in the end, Mueller will testify with some kind of conditions, and but I think Mueller is a very uh, play-by-the-book guy, so I think he's probably not going to depart hardly at all from what's already in his report. So I think you're going to have members of Congress like Jerry Nadler, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, are just going to be extremely frustrated, and they're going to continue to attack the Justice Department, unfortunately, because I think they did yeah. a very good job here. You know, um, while I have you, I haven't had the pleasure of getting your take on the friction or the appeared friction between Bill Barr and, and uh, you know, Bob Mueller uh, over the, 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 the release of the bullet points and the summary mm -hmm. of the Mueller report. Uh, what did you make of that and a, and a fast friendship that oh. turned fast non-friendship? Well, I think this is uh, just a silly criticism because Barr's letter, you know, it's just a short summary of the conclusions of the Mueller report. It didn't say it was a summary, and it doesn't matter anymore because now we have the Mueller report itself. So the Barr letter is not even going to be the footnote to the footnote to a footnote in history. No one's ever going to remember this months or years from now. And I still wonder, John, you're, you're the expert here, but is there anything that, if you think about it, Barr got wrong? I mean, uh, he, it, there, there was no definitive statement one way or the other on obstruction. People could form their own opinions on that. But the report makes clear in the end, uh, didn't have enough to go with it, didn't have enough not to go with it. So what did Barr supposedly get wrong? He didn't. He didn't get anything wrong. The people who are criticizing him are saying, well, he didn't provide the full context, so it uh, altered the narrative. That's not Barr's job. Well, that it's not would have Mueller's delayed the release the of the narrative. report itself at a heated time when everyone wanted it out, right? Exactly. I think Barr decided, I think Barr made the right call. He could have okay. slowed down the release of the report and issued some sh longer letter, but he chose the other way, get the report out fast. I think that's what was best for the American people. All right. Thank you very, very much, John. Good seeing you again. Great seeing you, Neil.